Well, hello again, everybody. Um, we are going to continue our explorations, observations, and investigations that relate to air. So, so far, we've taken a look at how air can move things. We've taken a look at air having mass and air taking up space. Well, today what we're going to do is we are going to start to take a look at a property of air that's a little bit different, kind of an effect of air. Um, so we're going to take a look at that. And I want to thank you also for submissions that you've made that have supported our previous claims. Well, today we're going to start out with just making a couple of observations. And then from there, we're going to go and, and make, start to formulate a claim by putting those observations together. Uh, also, I suggest that you keep up with your science notebooks, just sketching in your notebook and, uh, you know, or on some paper that you keep together for just science on the date, what we're investigating on that given day, and what some of your findings are, and going and sketching those and, and maybe jotting a few notes down too. It's just a nice way to organize your thoughts when you're looking back and thinking about something. And that's what scientists do. Okay, friends. Let's make an observation, okay? We're gonna start out with a flat piece of paper and a crumpled up piece of paper, all right? If I drop them the same height, same time, I want you to predict which one you think will hit the ground first. Will it be the flat one or will it be the crumpled up one? All right, so let's take a look, make your prediction. Ah, and as you probably could see, the crumpled up one hit the ground first. They both were the same size paper, but of course I just changed the shape of this one. So let's think about why that happened. What was it that made this one slow down compared to this one? All right, I wonder what's going on there. What do you think caused that to slow down? All right, well, I bet a lot of you are thinking air. Something had to do with air, and it certainly did. There's a property that we call air resistance, and the air slowed this one down more than it slowed this crumpled up one down because there was more surface area spread out, okay? So therefore, it slowed this one down more. So we call this property air resistance. Well, today, what I'm going to ask you to do is use maybe a little engineering, designing something to solve a problem that's going to demonstrate air resistance. So what we're going to do is you're going to create something that demonstrates air resistance. Now, one thing I thought of is something that might bring things or people down to the ground safely is our parachutes. Okay, and so what I did was I took a string, two strings actually, and I looped them onto this napkin. So I went and I, I took one string here, I made a loop and another string and I made a loop. And I happen to have a clothespin that I went and I clipped them all together with. Now you could use anything else. Sometimes people like to put a little toy on here and have it go down slowly by utilizing air resistance. Sometimes people will go and they'll change variables. Like they might change the size of a hole into on the parachute to see how that impacts how it goes down to the ground. So this again, we call it air resistance. Let me test this one out that I made with a paper towel. Okay, and voila. And you could see it slowed it down a bit. If you have a higher space to test yours out, it's even better. So maybe if you have a stairway that you could test this out. If you don't have a stairway to do that, you can just use a chair, all right? And I like to use recycled material, so I also had a, a plastic bag right here that I thought this would be a good one to demonstrate air resistance. And so when I went and I, I opened it up like this, and I took a plastic bag, I put my string on, and you can use things other than strings. Sometimes people like to use pipe cleaners, but this also could demonstrate some air resistance. 
And again, I just dropped it from right here. Be careful if you're standing on a chair and you test it out. But this also shows us air resistance. All right, friends, and if by chance you're not able to, you know, have any materials to construct a parachute, recyclable materials, I understand. But I bet you all have a couple pieces of paper around that you could demonstrate it that way. So your submission this week is going to be to submit a video, photo, or a drawing of your parachute, or you could do the same with the paper. Just submit that relating to air resistance. So we want to demonstrate the property of air called air resistance. All right, in summary now, we've taken a look at how air can move things, how air has mass, okay? And then we took a look at air taking up space, and then also today, air resistance. Have a great rest of your week, and I look forward to seeing your submissions.